Super snakes invading South Florida? Could this be the end for us all? I'm sure you've seen the headline. Or possibly a very uncredible show. Saying we have super snakes here in Florida. These snakes are faster, they are stronger, they can adapt to any environment, and they might eat us on site. Let's get into this. First, it's important to note we actually have two different types of large body constrictors that are established and breeding in South Florida. We have our Northern African Python right there, and then we have our all too famous Burmese Python over there. For reference, here is a map of South Florida and all the reported sightings and captures of Burmese pythons. And spoiler alert, they're everywhere. Now, on the other hand, Northern African rock pythons, pretty contained. So if you're wondering what actually started this whole super snake thing, it was this study by USGS. In this study, they sampled 400 pythons from the state of Florida. Now, of the 400 sampled, 13 actually showed traces of DNA from an Indian python. So is there a little truth to we might have this new species of python here? Possibly. But an important note on that is it actually bred like that before it was in the US. I've seen a lot of shows and news reporting that makes it sound like we actually have two species breeding here, creating a new super snake, but that's not actually what the study said, and that's kind of misleading. All the reports show that this breeding actually happened before they were in the US, and there's not actually interbreeding that's occurring here. Now, while the headlines are a little dramatic, which they always are, there could be some real consequences to having this genetic difference. What the authors here are looking at and implying is that our species of pythons here are genetically different than what we're seeing in their native range, and they're not full Burmese pythons. And again, this is a small percent of the pythons that were sampled. But could this mean they could develop more of a cold tolerance or live in more upland areas than what we're used to seeing Burmese pythons in? And that's something we're looking at.